Welcome back everybody, this is Oasis back with another video on the channel. Today I'm going to be teaching you how you can set up cron job on a Linux operating system. First of all, let me explain to you why do you want to learn how to set up cron job and what is a cron job? Well, sometimes you want computer to perform a certain task at specified time. For example, when you work with Linux and usually you work with Linux when you're running some sort of server in a cloud like AWS or Google Cloud or Microsoft Azure. I've been playing with Linux a lot recently, so I had to do some task on a specified time on every day. Uh, so what I have to do is to set up a cron job. Cron job is something that you set up in the Linux distribution and at that certain time it will execute that command for you. So the way you do that is by using a package called cron. Currently I'm using Ubuntu which is Ubuntu version 20 is the latest version of Ubuntu and cron package is installed by default in this operating system. If you're using some other distribution of Linux and you don't have a pack install, and if you have a Debian based, you know, Linux distribution, you can simply do sudo apt get install cron, and that's the package name, cron, okay? Simple. I'm gonna press enter and it's going to say, hey, the cron is already installed. As you can see here, it says cron is already installed and it's the latest version. Now what I wanna do is I want to create a file, first of all. Let's create a file. I'm going to use a touch command. I'm going to say cron.txt. Okay. Ls. And then you can see cron.txt file is there. I'm going to check what is in this file. Right now, it is empty. So what I want to do is I want to set up one task. Let's call it a job. Usually you call cron jobs. So I'm going to set a cron job, which will write hello world to this file every minute so what i'm going to do is first of all i'm going to type cron now the way you access that you type cron tab okay that's the command that you will have to use to set up cron job first of all i'm going to say cron tab space dash l press enter or return and here it shows me this text well, this is the file that will be used to set up your cron job. Anything you write here, followed by the proper syntax, it will be called a cron job. So right now, there is no cron job setup. There are some information in this file. Now, this file can be you know, used to set up cron job, but we want to open this file, right? So what I'm going to do, first of all, let's clear it. I'm going to type cron tab space dash e. This flag will open this file for me. Press enter. Now I'm using nano. Now because it automatically opened this file in nano, because this is not the first time I'm opening this file. So if you're opening this first time, you're gonna prompt, uh, you're gonna have a prompt which will ask you which uh, text editor that you wanna use. So you have an option for Wim or a nano. So here, first of all, let's read some uh, information. So it edits this file to introduce tasks to run by cron each task to run has to be defined through a single line okay indicating with the different fields when the task will be run all right so what i'm going to do is let's go to all the way down these are the comments okay so if you start by hash and then type the text that will be ignored by cron so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to start by specifying a command so i'm going to say echo I'm going to use double quotes and within double quotes, I'm going to say hello world. Okay. Now echo will basically will, you know, it, what it does is in Linux, it's just, you know, echo hello world. But what I want to do is when I run this command by, by using cron, I want to write this as a log in a file, which we just created, which was cron.txt file. So the way you do that is by typing greater than greater than time and then part to the file. The part is sitting in home ubuntu cron.txt file. Now I'm going to save this file in nano. You press control O, enter, and then it says wrote 25 lines. All right, so it is fine, but what we need to do is we need to define the time, how often this task should run. 
So the way you do that, the information is actually here. It says, for example, you can run a backup of all your user accounts at 5 a.m. every week with this. So here we got the backup command. Okay, that's what it does. And then here we got a time for that. So we have 0, 5, steric, steric, 1. 0. Uh, let, let's, let's do one thing first. Okay, let's go here. And I'm going to just enter steric, space, steric, space, steric, space. So make sure you have 5. I'm going to save the file. To show you what does this mean, I'm going to open up a, a, a website here. Please, we have a crontab.guru file. This is the quick and simple editor for a cron schedule expression. And here you can see we got five sterics, and here we have a five sterics as well. So if I click on a minute, it will highlight five, which means that if you want to specify a minute, you have to specify into the first steric. We have an hour, day of a month, a month, and a day in a week. Now here's some short form as well. So if you type at yearly, it will basically run this yearly uh, at certain time. Annually, monthly, weekly, daily, hourly, and on the reboot time. So here are some you know examples there as well. But what I want to do is I want to run this command every minute. So if you want to run it every minute, we can leave all five as sterics. But you can say one instead of static that will do the same thing but for now i'm going to just use you know uh static let's write this and then i'm going to get out from this cron tab and then i'm going to use this uh cat cron.txt file and as you can see there's nothing here i'm going to pause the video and i'm going to come back in a minute when we have something in this file so let's just pause it Okay, after one minute, I can see hello world. It is written in this file now. There's another Linux command that I can show you. You can do tail dash F and then the file name. So what it's going to do, it's going to keep looking into this file. Any changes that is written into cron.txt file will be printed into the next line. So we can wait another minute. You can skip the video if you don't want to wait, but I'll wait for another hello world to pop up instead of me pausing the video. So I want to make sure that you know that this command is running. Next up, I'll show you how you can set up a task on a daily basis at a certain time. So what I'm going to just, let's just wait for this first. And I'm expecting hello world to come up when we have one uh, colon 52 a.m. There we go. So we've got another hello world. So that cron job is running. It's writing hello world into this file. Now, this package is very, very simple. It's basically, there are like uh, very less commands. So you can do cron tab dash L to see what are the commands that you have. And then you can do dash L R to delete the commands or you can say dash i to actually prompt if you want to delete any cron job or not so you can do like you know uh dash h and that will basically show you the usage guide so here we have e edit the user cron tab it lists the user cron tab and then delete the user cron tab and it prompts before deleting the user cron tab so there are like four things that you need to remember that's pretty much it is and here we got five sterics and then here you can follow this website to actually build up your time so what i want to do is i want to have uh let's just say one minute and then every let's just say six hour and maybe we can say let's just say fifth okay on the day fifth and then you have a month let's just say every month we want to run and here i don't want to define anything but if i define let's just say seven now what it says is at zero six zero one on the day of month five and on sunday okay so basically it is showing you what it's going to do at what date so here's every month but you can specify let's say 
uh, 6, which will be June. Okay, so now it says at 06, call 01 on the day of month 5. Every month date is 5th and on Sunday in June. Okay, so this job will run every year. Okay, uh, well, twice a year, I guess. So you can use this website to actually build up your time and you can see in English what it's going to do. It's really a good resource. And then just use this, copy this and paste it and then, you know, run your, uh, you know, all the Linux commands that you can you want to do on the terminal. You can specify them here. Pretty simple. OK, I hope this video helps. Like, subscribe and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Cheers.